For most moms, a pacifier is a must-have piece of equipment. When the baby is fuzzy or has difficulty sleeping, a pacifier can solve all those problems. In fact, pacifiers are not that magical and may even negatively affect your baby's health. To avoid all these bad effects, as well as take full advantage of pacifiers, what should we do? Let's figure it out on today's video. First of all, what are the benefits of pacifiers? A lot of research shows that many infants only feel happy when they have something to suck on. That's why when a child gets fuzzy, nothing can soothe them as quickly and effectively as a pacifier. In the Guidance of Safety for Maternity Care, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention indicates that the use of pacifiers can reduce the risk of sudden infant death syndrome which occurs most commonly between two to four months old in infants. Babies always have a natural need to suck things, even when they're full with breast milk. That's why babies love pacifiers, and they use it until they fall asleep. With some babies, a pacifier is an indispensable thing before sleep. Studies have shown that pacifiers have a calming effect which prevents pain and anxiety. Pacifiers give babies a distraction to forget about the pain when being injected, getting blood extracted, or when they're sick. Nevertheless, pacifiers have negative effects to the health of the baby. Firstly, the early introduction of pacifiers to infants can interfere in the breastfeeding process. The babies may prefer pacifiers which reduces the volume of breast milk they should have. That leads to inability to gain weight or even a weight loss condition. Secondly, using pacifiers for a long time can also cause bad effects to your baby's oral health, especially when the babies are teething, leading to the misalignment of teeth. Thirdly, if babies use pacifiers too much, they may become dependent on them. At that time, you will have to deal with midnight crying spells when the pacifier falls out of your baby's mouth. Last but not least, the use of pacifiers can increase the risk of ear infections. According to a recent study, the rate of developing ear infection is twice as high in pacifier users. So when is the appropriate time to let your baby use pacifiers and how to get all of its advantages? Since pacifiers can prevent breastfeeding as we mentioned, the American Association of Pediatrics recommends that introducing pacifiers to infants should be delayed until breastfeeding is firmly established, which is generally within three or four weeks old of the baby. And after your child reaches one year old, you should talk to your pediatrician about when and how to start weaning your child from the pacifier. Be careful though. Hanging the pacifier with a string around the neck of your baby to avoid dropping it on the floor is absolutely not the thing you should do. Your baby can be strangled this way. There are many different ways to calm down babies. You can play with them, you can use music to make them happier. Don't let pacifiers be the first line solution and make your baby dependent on it. A pacifier is not a magical equipment for every situation, and babies don't always want to use it. There are times that babies are fuzzy and even reject the pacifier. In these cases, try different ways to calm them down and don't force them to use the pacifier. Moreover, a pacifier can only help children sleep more easily, not longer. You don't have to reinsert the pacifier if the babies are sleeping well. The quality of pacifiers is also an important thing to consider. All the products for babies must be BPA free. This information will be indicated clearly on the label. With each development stage, there are different sizes of pacifier, like 3 to 6 months, 6 to 12 months, 12 months plus, etc. You have to choose the right size for your baby and change the pacifier if it's torn or scratched. Pacifiers must be clean before using. This is really important. 
Otherwise, the pacifier can be an ideal link for bacteria and germs from the outside to enter the baby's body, which can cause serious illnesses such as flu, a bad cold, sore throat, ear infections, etc. Pacifiers will give you a more comfortable time when taking care of your baby. However, the most important thing is how to use it suitably to get all the benefits and reduce all the negative effects on your baby. We hope that this video can help you understand more about how to use pacifiers to ensure safety for your kids.